Well, I was just driving along the main road to West Bromwich and saw it smoking. So I pulled off the main road, like, and inspected it. And it was um, burning then. So I ran across to the pub across the road to ring the fire brigade. Came back, tried to keep the traffic moving. And then it just blew up as I was stood there. How far were you away from the lorry? Mm, Fifteen yards or so. Did, it, did the blast hit you? Yes, it did, actually. It's, I finished up in a van down the street there somewhere. And what happened then? Well, I was just a shower of bits of metal and that flying all over the place. And the police came and... and what about the people in the houses here? Yeah. Well, they were frantic, you know. And what did you do? I don't know. <laughs> I just walked up and down more days more than then, I suppose. I uh -huh. didn't expect it to explode. What were you doing when the explosion happened? I'd just gone into my next door neighbours and she was at work and I uh, was taking the groceries in, what I'd been and fetched and uh, the other side the neighbour shouted, uh, Mrs White, have you seen that lorry outside? And I uh, went and opened the front door and as I opened the front door the lorry was a mass of flames and then the next few seconds it exploded and it had blown me right back in the house. The man in charge of the police operation here is Mr Jim Horton, an assistant chief constable of Staffordshire. Now, Mr Horton, how are you getting on? We're doing quite well under the circumstances. It's quite a hefty job, you know. What sort of obstacles have you been faced with? Well, there's uh, quite a lot of demolition of these houses to uh, to contend with now. Luckily, there's uh, no casualties in the, ho in the houses. Everybody's being got away to hospital. Have you got enough men to cope with the job? Yes, we've got uh, quite a few of our own fellows here drawn from... Uh, quite scattered areas and we've also had help from Walsall and Birmingham City Police. And what about these houses? I shouldn't think they'll be fit to live in for a long time, will they? What about rehousing people? Oh, that is all under control. The, uh, the local authority have sent representatives here and everything is being done that's possible to be done for the people. And what's happening now? What's the next step? Well, the next step, of course, is to uh, see that the, the dangerous houses are demolished Everything of value in the other houses, of course, will have to be uh, protected. We shall be uh, uh, having people, uh, our people here this evening, of course, looking after all the property and making sure that everything is all right. Mr. Rees, your pub, the navigation across the way there, seems to have taken the full force of the explosion. Where were you when it happened? On the front porch, watching the lorry going. And what was it like? Nice fire. I believe some members of your family were out. Yes, the mother-in-law and uh, the cleaner. And the wife was pretty shock. What did you do when the explosion happened? Oh, it wasn't a great deal I could do. I was just flung against the bar door and went in with it.